Here's something that's not so common. A marmot in a backyard in Wheat Ridge. Parks and Wildlife says it's a rare sight, but does happen. It gets reports of these high country critters along our front range about six times every year. And getting the marmots back to the mountains quickly is vital. Our Jamie Leary live in Wheat Ridge. Jamie, do we have any idea how this one got here? We don't know exactly, but this is important because not a lot of people know it's a problem. CPW told me today that these marmots can literally hitch a ride in the back of a pickup truck from the mountains. And we know this one probably made its way underneath this fence into this family's backyard. And we know he's definitely eating well, but this family is hoping to get him back home. So we set up some traps. We kind of, we added a camera to kind of see where he's coming from. They may not know exactly where he came from, but the Heaton family knows exactly where he's going. It's right to the chicken feeder. Like clockwork, a hungry yellow-bellied marmot appears every morning. It's the best time to beat the chickens to the feeder. I mean, like 40 minutes in a row, he just sits there at the feeder and eats constantly. Kayla Heaton has enough mouths to feed without the marmot, but she's glad she finally has footage of it. When she first told friends, they assumed she was just sleep deprived. He's a pretty good sleeper, okay. but still, yeah, it made me feel a little crazy. Even her husband was skeptical, but now... I'm sorry. <laughs> I believe you. Parks and Wildlife says this happens to a few marmots every year. They hitch a ride to lower elevations and can't survive the heat. Whistle pigs is what we always called them, and they're always kind of cute. Um, up in the rocks. It's where they belong, and Chris is hoping his live traps will help get this one back. So far, he's caught everything but the marmot, like this skunk. Uh, I wasn't happy to see that in the morning. He cautiously released the skunk and is still determined to save the marmot. Why are you <laughs> continuing to make this effort? Oh, we got to end the story, I think. We got to get him back home. <laughs> Some of you may be thinking it is just one marmot, but CPW told me today that its team of volunteers makes it possible to handle even the smallest cases, which are still very important. We'll continue to follow this one. Live in Wheat Ridge, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. All right, Jamie, thank you.